After a series of devastating wildfires across our state, Cal Fire has announced a major forest management plan that's aimed at reducing the risk of future disasters. Crews will dramatically increase the removal of dead trees and other vegetation, focusing on certain high-priority areas, including some spots right here in the Bay Area. Joining us now to talk more about the details of this plan is Mark Naveau, former FEMA coordinator. Mark, thanks for being here. How important is it to clear dead trees, clear the forests, and make sure that we have uh, some safe space? Yeah, without question. You know, we saw last year the largest acreage ever burned with one fire. We saw the largest loss of life with another fire. So when the governor came in to office, he made that a priority without question, public safety. And so this report is responding to his direction about how to address the problem with wildfires in California. All right, so what does this process look like of, of, of managing these particular forests that, uh, that they have decided to focus on? Well, they're gonna try and figure out a number of alternatives, that being prescribed burning, uh -huh. that's cutting, that's, um, they're gonna try and thin areas, but what they've decided to do, which is unique, is under this plan, they're gonna use the incident command system, which is what is used to manage wildfires, right. fight the fire, they're gonna use that system for the actual recovery. They're gonna build bases in areas that are considered high priority on a list that was published today, 35 locations. Mm -hmm. One of them being here locally, Contra Costa County. And how do you think they figured out those high priority areas? What they do is they take a look at population, they look at um, the density, the age of the folks, the uh -huh. socioeconomics in those areas, and then they categorize and they come. They came up with 35 different locations. In the top 10 is Contra Costa County yeah. over in Orinda. And of that list, the, that represents the largest population and the highest number of communities. 30 communities, almost half a million people. That's tops in the entire list in terms of yeah. what is priority. Yeah, and I, I did see that because on the maps, I think Orinda was second to Southern California, which had the majority of where the problem focused area is going to be. But in Orinda and Contra Costa County, what are some of the challenges? Because, I mean, it's t they're tight, narrow roads. Um, we're talking about homes up on hills. Yeah. What are the challenges in trying to get this work done? Not only that, but a lot of those homes have been there a long, long time. And so it's private property. That's the same with the forests in California, which is, you know, the state only owns about 2% of the forests in the entire state. So these plans, they're trying to figure out how they can work with private business owners, the logging industry, you know, environmentalists to go in and thin these forests to be able to make sure they're safe. But this is going to be a huge task. It's not going to be done overnight. Yeah. You know, the nice part about this, they're also trying to address the carbon situation. And all these wildfires, people don't realize it's the carbon. It's the lack of the ability, once the trees are dead, to process the carbon, mm -hmm. which creates greenhouse gases, which is leads us back to this vicious cycle of hotter fires, hotter weather. And, and, and speaking of this being a massive undertaking, uh, the state is trying to do fuel reduction across 90,000 acres yeah. here in California. So that means they need some help. They're calling in the California National Guard. This is pretty unusual, right? It, to have it the is. Guard be involved in this kind of Absolutely. Work? Very aggressive approach. And what they're saying is we want to get folks into those high priority areas. But one of the problems they face is housing because the people doing the work have to locate close. So they've said, we're gonna go in and build somewhat uh, incident support base is what they call it. Very similar to when you see them fighting fire, they have a base, it's command central, that's where they bed down, that's where the operation mm -hmm. is. They're gonna use that same type of system to try and figure out how to solve this problem. So they're building mini um, incident support bases in different locations across the state. What are the uh, critics saying? We understand that some people may not agree that this is the right thing to do and that this is not really going to help prevent some wildfires. Yeah, like anything, you know, you're always going to get a situation where everybody has a different answer. The criticism in this particular case comes, you're putting your efforts in the wrong direction. Criticism being you should think about, you know, wildland inter urban interface building codes. How do you implement those types of solutions versus what you're trying to do? This is an all-encompassing. Yeah. So it's actually addressing those items as well. And, and lastly here, because we do have to wrap up, but what do you think prompted this? I mean, all of a sudden, state officials decide they want to, they uh, you know, manage, uh, do forest management on twice as much land as, as was originally pro pro proposed this year. I mean, we, we know President Trump uh, was heavily critical of California and forest management here. Yep. Uh, do we think politics played a role here? Well, it's interesting because the federal government's the largest landowner of forests in California. 
Right, yeah, we do know that, yes. Which is, you know, so part of this is going to be that they're going to have to sit down, figure out how to move through this, but really it came by direction of the new governor who, you know, two months into office told Cal Fire, I'd like a report to sure. find out what we can do, and this report is kind of, and they've been doing a lot of this before, but this report prioritizes areas within the state of California, which is huge. All right, Mark Niveau, former FEMA director, we always appreciate your time. Nice Thanks for joining us. Thank you.